Hi there. I'm uh, Cesar Becerra, a local historian who, uh, as you can probably see now, I'm, I'm not in Miami Beach and this is not Miami. I'm in New Mexico, walking my way across America slowly. The film you're about to see, Following Frank, is not a linear history of Frankie's Pizza. It is a snapshot into a particular time of Frank Pasquarella's life. A time that was 10 years going into the post effects of suffering a, a serious stroke and afterwards several other smaller strokes. And so I want you to know that through the challenges and even sometimes the frustrations that you'll see Frank going through, I intend this movie to be uh, to honor a man who, well, there's a generation that no longer knows what Frank sounded like and no longer knows you know what he lived and looked like or how he acted and so um, this is an ode to him and for the many people who miss Frank this is a a Valentine although a uh, a tough one uh, because you probably will see Frank in moments that uh, weren't always exactly how you might remember him but he he opened up to me and others uh, on seldom occasions, but these were some of them. I, I was I just had the honor and the privilege to uh, follow Frank for an entire year, and so um, I hope you enjoy that. We miss you, Frank. She taught me how to cook, and I used to mimic my mother. 
because I liked the way she cooked. Uh, and, and consequently, I picked up things. My mother uh, always spoke in, the, in the Italian to us, okay? Uh, she had broken English, but uh, uh, she was quite a woman. My mother uh, was a hell of a person, Jesus. Uh, uh, she helped me uh, start the pizza shop up. Uh, and she was one hell of a woman. And she was smart as a whip. Uh, hey, I know now where I got my, uh, uh, my smarts. I, I got my smarts for dear old mama. Hey. Uh, she was a beautiful woman. Hey, there was no question about it. I took after her. <laughs> hey, she was petite. She was petite and precise. Everything she did had a reason. And she, uh, uh, she, uh, uh, she danced around here in the pizza shop. She helped me. She helped me all the time. Hey, uh, uh, and she, uh, uh, she made the sauce. She taught me how to make it. Uh, who, what to look for, and everything. And uh, she taught me how to make pizza and do it and do it good. And she taught me what had to be done. She knew the ovens like me. She she did it, boy, and she was a hell of a woman. I have to say, the Frankie's Pizza is his first love. He loves his pizza shop, and this is his first love. And his wife and his children come second because it's always Frankie's Pizza. And we said, as long as we can, as long as he's alive, we'll try to keep it up for him because I feel Anything should happen to this place, he would go. I really do. This is his first love. And uh, the girls, thank God for them. They've been a big help, Roxanne and Renee, and everybody that's been working for us. They've been a big, big help to us. They really have. And we love it. I mean, we love what we're doing. I won't say it's easy anymore. When you get older, you've got all kinds of aches and pains. But if you don't have something really to go every day and have something to look forward to, that's it. This is it. This is our life. It's always been our life. 40 years that we've been married, we've had Frankie's Pizza. Uh, uh, the first moment I laid eyes on Doreen, uh, I was always in love with Doreen. All of us fellas were all together, a bunch of Steubenville boys. Me, me, me and uh, uh, Tony Federico, Tony Federico uh, and Tony Federico, uh, uh, all us Steubenville boys were there. And I was dressed sporty. Hey, 
and I had a brand new car, uh, and, and it was a 1952 uh, uh, Ford Victoria. Hey, and it was bought and paid for. Uh, and I used to uh, drive it I, all over, uh, uh, all over town. So there I was. Uh, uh, I, I spotted her on the floor and I asked her uh, for a dance. And she said, yes, hey. And, uh, and when I went, uh, uh, when I uh, went uh, and asked her uh, to go home, uh, uh, drive her home, uh, uh, she, she uh, uh, was in my, uh, she got, got in my car, uh, it was, it was cream and uh, 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 cream and blue, the car. And it was sharp, boy. Uh, 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 and she fell in love with the car. <laughs> hey, and it was bought and paid for. <laughs> so first, she fell in love with the car, and then she fell in love with the driver? Hey, the I don't driver. know. I don't know. Uh, uh, what did hey. she say about the car? Hey, uh, she said, boy, the car is beautiful. Uh, hey, hey uh, it was brand new. Jesus, uh, I paid uh, $3,000 for that car at the time. Uh, hey, and I had, uh, I had a, a convertible <coughs> before that. Hey, uh, and boy, I had more women than I could shake a stick at. Jesus Christ. Uh, every time I turned around, uh, women were throwing themselves at me. <laughs> Honest to God, I proposed to her one night. I, I told her, uh, I told her, uh, honey, uh, uh, I'm going to have, get you uh, a ring, okay? When I felt, felt like I fell in love with her, and I told her, honey, I'm getting you a ring. Uh, and it was a diamond. Uh, I was in love with my wife, okay? Uh, uh, that's why uh, I'm married for 40 years. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, we always kid about it because, uh, hey, uh, uh, so long as you don't bother me when I'm watching television and watching the football game anyway. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? Okay. Hey, uh, uh, me and Doreen uh, uh, were always happy. I'd like to uh, fool around with business. Okay. Uh, 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 I figure uh, maybe I can. Uh, kill one stone and do the other. Yeah. Okay? Uh, uh, I like business. So, Frank, if you had three things... Huh? If you had three things to write about, tips yeah. for getting into a business, Yeah. 
for people that might be getting into a business, yeah. what would you tell them? What are the three top things hey, they hey, should know? I, 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 uh, one, I'd say about it. business, yeah. every opportunity that comes, comes around, snatch, snatch it up because uh, uh, if you don't snatch it up, someone else will snatch it up. Okay? Get, get it while you can. Okay? Uh, because, no tomorrow. you know, tomorrow is never. Tomorrow is never. Uh, because uh, tomorrow we may de die. Okay? You capish? Give us the last piece of good advice getting into a business. Save your money. Save your money. Uh, always save your money. Uh, 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 I hope I can live uh, uh, as long as I want to. <laughs> I think you will. <laughs> I want to live for a long time. You will. <clears throat>
Tell Jerry the good news. Hey, Jerry. Yeah. Uh, guess what? Uh, our brother is going to uh, uh, finally uh, show up. He doesn't believe it because he knows that Art won't show. I don't blame him. You See, think? That, that's what happens. If you, you don't have faith in a person when they say they're going to show, and they never show. Because if we're afraid, we're going to stomp him anyway. <laughs> Pinpoint, but yep. when did the first softball game or softball matchup? It was uh, in the uh, 70s, uh -huh. and we used to play Frankie's uh, every year on uh, the 4th of July. We'd have a game, and uh, we'd all be there. And uh, and uh, the, I think the first three or four games, we won such by tremendous scores. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> That, uh, no, no, I just, and uh, I always kid Frankie's because uh, I always say, Frankie's, you always play us and you always had girls playing, and that and that uh, helped your team a lot. Now, we've never, well, we've had a few girls work here, but Frankie's always had uh, more girls than uh, that's did. That's his, uh, I guess, his technique to get the softball girls. Yeah, oh, yeah right. South yeah, to South, make sure uh, they're Southwest. Right. right. So, in your opinion, uh, what were, what were, some, who, Who's been winning throughout the years? I mean, we get oh, this we definitely, yeah, we definitely been <laughs> winning. There's no. Uh, okay. Frankie may say uh, he's won, but yeah, believe me, we're, okay. we're the uh, champs between Frankie's and okay. our. Did our better show up? Our better showed he's up. He's a bum. <laughs> no, he's been good. He's sport. a bum. <laughs> hey, uh, he didn't show up uh, uh, for 20 years. But he's here today. Hey, it's about time. Uh, uh, this is uh, 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 40 years uh, of uh, 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 40 years of your accumulating uh, 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 junk. Uh, but uh, now uh, uh, you call that uh, 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 there'll be uh, antiques. I'm telling you, antiques. Okay? I'm going to get rich on antiques for sale. Okay, 40 years of antiques, okay? Wow, uh, that's a lot of antiques, huh? Uh, the antique uh, that been stored inside uh, the Miami Hurricanes, okay? Does that clock still tell accurate time? Hey, uh, 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 we need a battery on it, okay? A Miami Hurricane, Jesus. Hey, what do you want to do with them, huh? There's the, these are our early signs, a long time ago, uh, but the uh, uh, prices have changed since, since then. And we used to uh, sell pizzas 10 and 15 cents a slice. 
10 and 15 cents a slice. Hey, a long time ago. Are you capish? Huh? Do you understand? Uh, uh, do you understand in Sp Spanish? I can speak in uh, uh, English. I can speak it uh, in Russian. I can speak it in, in Polish, okay? Uh, uh, do you understand? Huh? I'll tell you in Italian. Uh, 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 in, in Italian, it's said. Uh, 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 in Italiano, uh, uh, I speak Italian also. Do you capish? <laughs> no. Do you don't understand? Uh, uh, to stay stupido. You know what stu stupido means? Huh? There you are. Uh, these are uh, our early signs a long time ago. You can't sell pizza for that price again, okay? And get real Italian cheese, okay? You can't because prices have gone sky high. So we are doing our best uh, to keep up the good work uh, that we have done uh, for the past 40 years. Okay? Thank you. Let's go. Uh, and we're, we're going to be opening uh, uh, Four to one o'clock a.m. again. Okay, uh, 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 this is we uh, we used to open open uh, at four p.m. and close uh, at one a.m. Uh, uh, and we're going to do it again. Okay? Capish? You capish? Do you capish? I said yes. <laughs> hey, we did it before and we can do it again. long before uh, Castro uh, uh, claimed uh, 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 was uh, uh, long before Castro went uh, to uh, uh, to uh, uh, he went to Cuba and he, uh, 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 he he's a dummy uh, 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 Castro is a dummy. Uh, he sh never, never should have uh, had gotten Russia uh, to come, come over uh, and screw uh, the uh, 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 the Cuban people. It was a no-no. Okay. Uh, 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 Fidel Castro uh, used to eat at my store uh, a long time ago. Jesus, uh, when he went, uh, was going 
to the University of Miami. Uh, him and Raul uh, used to go uh, to the University of Miami. Okay? Uh, he did a good thing uh, in uh, doing uh, what he did. Uh, he went and and relieved the Cuban people uh, from uh, uh, Fulgencio Batista. Uh, but then he went wrong. is Frank B. Pascarella uh, signing off. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. to know that 10 years has gone by since I actually started filming the documentary and now it's the 50th anniversary. It's just incredible. It's amazing how time flies. But this 10 years is nothing compared to 50 years that Frankie's has been here. And what's your name? My name is Cesar Becerra. I'm, I'm known as sort of like the official biographer of the Pascarella family. And I had the honor and pleasure and privilege to spend a year with Frank ten years ago and follow him everywhere. Do you go to the
Are we going now? Let's go. Okay, let's let's get the flock out of here. <laughs> Besides, there's only so much ceiling to this place. I can't go up any higher than that. Okay? Okay? Hey, hey, come on, let's go. So I hope you enjoyed following Frank. <clears throat> if uh, you're interested in a, learning a lot more, go to frankiespizzaonline.com or planetcaesar.com. There's also a uh, history book called A Love Affair with Frankie's Pizza. So uh, again, it was a pleasure to have known and followed Frank that year so many years ago and as you can probably see there just uh, will probably be no other like him so um, hope you keep enjoying many more years of Frankie's Pizza and, and at least enjoy the knowledge of knowing what and who Frank was what he sounded like his character which was just unparalleled, and the zest and the just happiness he had in life and attacking life, despite all later challenges that he faced, he truly was uh, an inspiration and a uh, pleasure to know. Bye. Love.